everyone, welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. Uh, I'm hoping that this week goes better than last week, but we'll see because apparently I work five days this week and it's Monday through Friday. And somehow five whole days still only equals like 25 hours. So, I mean, that's why I'm quitting. I'm about ready to go to work actually. So I've just been kind of editing and doing a little bit more doodling in my bullet journal since I hadn't finished up my owls area. I also started a new book. I started Rumble by Ellen Hopkins and I got it on Libby because it was already, I didn't have to wait for it. It was just ready to be downloaded. Ellen Hopkins books, I love to physically read. It is told in verse and some of the story is actually just told in the way that it's written out on the pictures and I just feel like you miss out a lot in the audiobooks of what that does. Plus, I feel like this narrator isn't that amazing, but it's good enough. And honestly, I hadn't had any motivation to read Rumble specifically. I'm not not liking it. I'm just like very curious as to what I'm missing, you know? Because I know that like things are written differently. Maybe I should follow along. This is the last week before readathons begin. I actually think, doesn't the biannual bibliothon, oh, that starts this week. Oh, that starts in like three days. Oh, I don't know if I want to make this reading vlog now because I wanted one that was entirely biannual bibliothon. I'm not sure. I will think on this and get back to you because if anything, I'll just delete this footage. But if not, then I might just split it up into two parts like per week, you know? Well, that's kind of it then right now because I just don't know whether I'm going to continue this vlog or not. Be a little distracting in my glasses <laughs> so I'll try and keep my head from angle so hey everyone happy Tuesday it has been a actually pretty good day I went to work and I had a surprisingly good shift and I was able to actually talk to my manager and instead of just putting in my two weeks like I originally thought I would have to I'm only gonna be working like a couple days a week at the store which is perfect like that's actually exactly what I needed to fit into my schedules I actually just finished editing my reading vlog from last week I was supposed to do it last night and I was just I got through most of it but I got really overwhelmed when I started getting to my dog part and when I got back to it today though I was able to come into it with a clear head and I put in a montage like little section of just pictures of me and her and I really like how it turned out. It's actually really surprising. I downloaded some new music like a couple weeks ago and one of the songs happened to be called Missing My Girl and I put it in for that area of the video and it just went so perfectly because it's not like melancholy really, it's just nice. And I like that the title is Missing My Girl because obviously I'm missing my girl. So I'm exporting that right now so hopefully I'll be able to get it up by tomorrow morning and have that all out of the way and try and get other stuff done for the week because I want to post so many videos this week. Currently I am reading Rumble by Ellen Hopkins still. I am only a few hours into the audiobook. I think like four or five. Yeah I'm four hours into the audiobook. I am enjoying it. Again, like I said, the narrator just has a very stilted way of talking and that's just not really how I would imagine her books normally. There are some themes of just violence and really dark stuff. There's the main character's brother actually committed suicide before the story starts and it's kind of showing his grieving process for that and it's really a lot, it's very heavy. So, I mean, all of Ellen Hopkins' books are really heavy. That's actually not a big surprise for me. I just feel like maybe hearing it is a little different rather than reading it and being able to like get lost in the poem poetry form instead of, you know, hearing what's actually being said. Right now I think I'm actually going to settle down and play with my bullet journal, so I'm gonna get some footage of that because I have to get my biannual bibliothon TBR up by Thursday because it starts on Thursday. Yeah, I was originally going to just do a vlog for biannual bibliothon, but it's in between two weeks, so I kind of just decided to do my normal vlogging schedule and I have to also settle on my Reading Rush TBR because eventually I have to film that and upload it right before Reading Rush as well. So there's a lot to get done. I'm 
luckily very ready for it right now. So let's do it. So I ended up mostly just working on my owls pages because the thing is, is I realized for these, it's just, I don't want to write anything in until I know for sure. So yeah, I ended up blocking that out and just putting it in, in gold careers because obviously I'd messed up. And then I did this little doodle, which I think is really cute. Uh, it's supposed to be me, but like, you know, I don't know. And then that's T'Challa and that's Luna because, you know, they're adorable. And I'm wearing Slytherin colors, which is exciting because I don't know if I've talked about it much on my channel, but <laughs> I've always wanted to be Slytherin and I just always got Gryffindor. And then the last time I took the test, I actually got Slytherin. So now I'm like, to be fair, I think I'm more of a Slytherin door, but you know, for now, I'm excited. And I think it turned out pretty okay. Yeah, that's that's gonna be it for tonight, honestly. I am just going to read some more. I actually only have an hour left of Rumble, so that's exciting. I'll probably be able to finish that by tomorrow, and then I'll start filling this out because I feel like I'm gonna accidentally read a ton of these just because of the readathons going on this month. So, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> well, it's not really morning anymore. It's definitely like 11.30, maybe. Wow, it's actually 12.30. I've been sitting around doing nothing all morning. I got out of bed and I was like, you know what sounds like fun? Watching some YouTube videos. And then my internet wasn't working, so I spent some time figuring that out. I just look like a mess because when I fall asleep with my hair wet, it just turns into this and that is so different from how my hair normally dries. I did finish a couple of days ago Rumble by Ellen Hopkins. I ended up actually giving this a 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It was not what I expected. Okay, because I went into it not actually knowing what the synopsis of this book was. I originally assumed that the themes would be violence, gun control, and I'm gonna take my glasses off because I feel like you can't see my eyes. Grieving because his brother commits suicide before the book starts but it actually ended up being a bigger discussion on religion and whether or not to believe in it our main character believes he's an atheist but it was just it was interesting and that actually covers the defense against the dark arts challenge for the owls and something actually just popped into my Libby account and that is damsel which I believe is sort of supposed to be a dark fairy tale retelling but not like based on any fairy tale, it's just really supposed to take the trope of damsel in distress and turn it on its head. So I'm not sure if that can count for one of the challenges, because I know that for the owls, one of the challenges is read a retelling, not a fairy tale, just read a retelling. And also today starts the biennial bibliothon, I'm pretty sure. So I have to start cracking on that. But first I'm gonna get ready. I think I'm gonna go to Dunkin' because I've been in the mood for a donut for the past two days. Because yesterday I wanted to get it before work and then I just somehow, I don't know, you know when you sit down and you're like, I have 30 minutes, all I have to do is put on mascara. And then you put on mascara and you look at the clock and somehow 30 minutes went by. Yeah, because that's what happened to me yesterday. I don't know, I don't know. I must have been moving like a sloth and just like, I will see you when I'm, you know, I have a face on, exciting. Okay, hey everyone, so I actually just had to pause in my audiobook. I'm actually almost halfway through. I didn't realize how short the audiobook was for Damsel. It's like a seven hour long audiobook and I'm about three hours into it, but I had to pause it because I got really, really anxious. I know that 
I was told that this story is very disturbing that or not I was told but it was reviewed that way it's a very disturbing story and I already have a theory about where our little damsel has come from but I'm really nervous because right now she has a pet it's on the castle grounds and this guy that she just met was like oh I wonder who would win between my his pet and then her pet and then he starts dragging it over and her pet's just like a baby it's like I don't think anything will happen but I will this book is supposed to be really disturbing, so potentially something could happen. I actually have my little owls thing open right now, and I love how it actually turned out. I really enjoy it. I ended up making my others area, which these are the only other classes that I hadn't had written down that weren't either part of or or librarian. So I mean, I'm curious because at the end of the day, I am reading a ton of books right now for the other readathons. So I might be able to actually complete all of the challenges, which would be pretty dang cool if I can. It's not my main goal though. Again, I was just kind of doing it just for interests sake. But after I finish this book, I have three of the challenges down, which is really cool. So that's sort of it for right now. I'm going to sit down, write down my TBR. I haven't done it for this for any of the audiobooks I've listened to this month, but I really wanted to be following along, not technically physically, but writing down post-it notes because I bought a whole pack of post-it notes because I think that this is gonna be an amazing way for me to keep refreshed in the stories. Like about every hundred pages or so, I'm gonna write a post-it note with like all the important things that are happening. I got this idea from basically Brit, who kind of has post-it notes at the end of her Game of Thrones books to keep track of character names, character ages and important details that happen in the book, which is a really good idea. And then I recently saw Books with Chloe's new annotation video, and she does it, I think, every 50 pages now, which is really cool too. I think that physically reading is a very good way to keep yourself motivated because you're like, oh, if I just read 20 pages more, I can get to my next post-it note, you know? So I'm gonna see what I end up doing with it, but I do want to incorporate something like that. In general, I think I just mostly wanna write down like character names, character ages, sort of like how Brit does. But with some books, I think I want to write just general summaries. I really don't know how I'm going to do it yet. All right, I'm going to get to reading. So I started filming and my freaking battery died. I'm so upset. I can't believe that <sighs> I totally must have forgotten to charge it after I filmed my wrap up last week. And I'm kind of really annoyed at that because now I'm going to have to wait a while. And <sighs> so I think now in the meantime, I'm going to play with Goodreads. I've been thinking about this for a while, but I wanted to make my Goodreads better. Like, <laughs> I've been wanting to start reviewing on Goodreads in general, which I haven't really started yet, but I also want to like shelve things. I want to shelve all the books that are on my shelves. That way, when I go to read something, I can just select it out of there instead of like, because you guys know I like to scan the book so that in my head, it's the specific copy of the book that I'm reading that is logged into Goodreads. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> and listen to more of Damsel. Uh, so... In that moment when I thought that something bad was gonna happen to her pet, nothing bad happened. <sighs> or not nothing bad happened, but like it was avoided and uh, but now it hasn't been avoided, so <laughs> I'm depressed. But yeah, let's keep listening to Damsel and let's organize my Goodreads. Hey everyone, so it is Thursday, Friday, it's Friday. <laughs> um, yeah, so yesterday I ended up getting super distracted and basically Basically, I say basically because I haven't done them all, but most of the books in my shelves have been added to Goodreads, which is really relieving in a weird way because now I can just kind of, it's its like a weird like statistics thing. Like I can see how many books I read every single year and then I can section off which ones are audiobooks and like it's gonna be good for me. As far as Scythe goes, I am really close to finishing this one too. I have three hours left to the audiobook, so... I don't know what the percentage is of that, but I am really enjoying it. It's very different than what I thought it would be. I had originally assumed it was going to be like a very different situation because obviously scythes are professional people that like take lives to keep down the population, but I had assumed it was a very like humane way of taking lives. Like they would touch them with this scythe. I really thought there was a scythe involved and they would just kind of touch him and then the soul would be gleaned or something like that. That's what I assumed, but it's not. So far, I've realized that it's kind of murderous, but it's cool. I don't know, I'm very iffy. And then Rowan and Citra's relationship, I think was a little insta-lovey. Like, it's just, we didn't get enough background of them actually interacting before they were like, 
hey, I like you. You know what I mean? It wasn't really Insta love, but it's pretty similar. I got a donut from Dunkin' and it's the correct donut. Thank goodness, because yesterday my whole day was almost ruined because of a freaking donut. Isn't that ridiculous? Okay. I actually finally just managed to film the intro and outro to my bullet journal video, which is really exciting because I feel like I've had that for so long and just haven't been able to post it because I didn't have an intro. So currently I am listening to Scythe on audio. I am right here in the book. I have been speeding through audiobooks lately. I don't know if it's just because there's been a lot of tasks that I can listen to audiobooks during and I haven't really been physically reading at all. Once I finish the Scythe audiobook, I either might take a break from audiobooks because I've been listening to so, so many, or I'm going to download Morningstar from Pierce Brown. So right now I think I'm going to upload the footage to my computer, edit my bullet journal video, kind of get all that stuff done. That way by tomorrow morning it can just already be up. I just kind of want to get as many videos edited and filmed before next week as possible because next week, it's not that I'm busy necessarily. I am like Tuesday through Thursday, Tuesday through Friday. I am booked up and I just kind of want to have like all the videos already ready that way I don't have to really stress about it during the week. While I wait for my footage to upload I'm going to take some bookstagram pictures because I've been really slacking on bookstagram this week and listen to more of Scythe. Maybe I'll finish it today. Who knows? Happy Saturday. <laughs> I really haven't gotten that much done today. I've literally just been kind of cleaning around my house and honestly looking for my freaking mail key. I realized earlier today that I think my BoxyCharm, which is like a makeup subscription box service, has been in my mailbox since like the 4th of July. And in the Vegas heat, like that's, I, I probably shouldn't even use any of the stuff in there at this point, but I'm really really upset about it And I can't find my freaking mail key and the last time I used it was last week when I grabbed the Unplugged book box and I cannot find my freaking mail key. So I was hoping like cleaning might help but so far it hasn't freaking popped up and hmm, I'm upset honestly, I remember like I thought that the boxy charm would already be in my mailbox by then and then it hadn't been and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And now I just don't remember where I put the mail key. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, let's open up this package. It came to my door, thank goodness, because I don't have a mailbox key. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Aurora Ryzen came in the mail. That's upsetting. You know like the first, when you open a hardback for the first time and it has that like, that like crickle almost? This one was already just like, opened. <sighs> All these like really small details of my day are making me really upset for no good reason. <laughs> you know when that happens, it's like one tiny thing kind of annoyed you and now everything else is like piling on, whatever. So yeah, Aurora Rising, which is the group book for biannual bibliothon. So I'm gonna start reading that eventually when I'm in a better mood. That way it doesn't ruin my, <laughs> what happened to my little cover? Oh my God, I'm turning into a full on baby now. Like I'm throwing tantrums because this has like, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing at how ridiculous I'm being right now, guys. Like honestly, I, looking back on this footage, I'm gonna be shaking my head and so embarrassed to show you, but I'm literally throwing tiny tantrums because this didn't open right and this has a weird little stain on the cover that you can only see when you do this. I need to sit down and eat, I think, because I really haven't eaten today. Oh, okay, so like the catalyst, I feel like, for me being like in this annoyed mood was I didn't realize I was hungry and then like an hour or two ago, my boyfriend was like, do you wanna come to sushi with me and my friend? And I was like, heck yeah, just let me know when. And then he misunderstood and thought that I meant like, no, I don't wanna go because I said I didn't wanna go to his house and that I'd meet him there. 
so he misunderstood and then didn't tell me when I went to sushi and then now I'm sitting here and I'm like fuck I think I am hungry <laughs> I'm so annoying I'm annoyed with myself with how annoying I'm being currently I don't even know what that is it feels almost like scratches in the actual cover but like you can't even actually see it and these little mat covers get dirty anyways no matter what and I am kind of upset about this too because that means that someone like opened up my book before me okay so let's kind of uh, talk about things that are not annoying for a minute so I've been reading or listening to Morningstar I really want to go back and actually annotate the first chapter and everything I thought it was so interesting so I'm like right here in the book which is nice I'm really enjoying it I love these audiobooks so much I really wish that I could force myself not to listen to the audiobooks and physically read these because there's so many interesting concepts being discussed that I wish I was annotating the entire time but the audiobooks are so good guys they are so insanely good that I just can't can't force myself not to you know what <laughs> I'm just gonna text my boyfriend and say I am gonna meet him there if I'm gonna be in a ridiculously bad mood just because I didn't get sushi today I should just rectify that situation by not being a dumb bitch I'm cursing a lot right now I partially blame it on Morningstar because there's a lot of cussing that happens in this book but I'm also partially blaming it on the fact that <laughs> I'm being like a baby I'm being a little princess it's like throwing tantrums and everything So it is currently noon, actually, 1235, but I went to brunch. I put in some footage, I'm pretty sure, of going to brunch with my boyfriend and his friends, and it was really nice, but now I'm so tired, partially because it was so early. I mean, not so early. It was 10 o'clock, but I woke up at like 8.30, but it's mostly because I went to bed at like 4 or 5. I'm really not sure. I... My sleep schedule has been so rough lately, but I just uploaded my bullet journal video, which I'm so excited about. I've wanted to put that up for so long now. I've been listening to more of Morningstar. I think I'm just going to take a break from it today, though, because I'm so sleepy. Like, I feel like I'm not absorbing it as well. So I have eight hours and 30 minutes left <laughs> out of a 21 hour audiobook. So I don't know what that is right now. I can barely do math when I'm not this tired. I'm like this far in, which is really decent actually i'm enjoying it so much i really do want to go back though and annotate uh i'm thinking of either picking up aurora rising today or maybe monstrous because monstrous is obviously the graphic novel and i feel like i kind of want something like fun and fast but right now i'm actually going to maybe lay down for a second like not take a nap i'm not gonna take a nap because no but i do think i just want to like chill out i still haven't found my mail key by the way guys i don't know I don't know like I have no idea where it can be but I went to sushi yesterday again with my boyfriend and I actually felt so much better when I got back home and I cleaned like I cleaned my house so thoroughly and I'm really happy because I hate when my house is really dirty it just makes me feel gross I still have things to do today so I don't want to get too distracted I may I might be filming a video a little later I'm not sure yet which one I think I want to do my reading rush TBR oh, I'm so tired okay I'm gonna lay down so that I can stop complaining about how tired I am and then we'll talk after guess who took a nap <laughs> it was me I took a nap I feel like I should close out my vlog here because I don't think I'm gonna get that much done tonight I have a friend coming over later and we're just going to like drink wine and she's actually gonna help me with this choreography that I have to learn because she used to dance and stuff and I haven't danced in a really long time so she's gonna help me out with that we're gonna drink some wine and I'm probably not gonna read like before or after that maybe before but I'm hoping more to actually film a video instead of read so let's close this out my camera battery is gonna die so we'll see how long this lasts I read damsel this week by Elena K Arnold I gave this four out of five stars I did really enjoy it looking back on it I love how it ended I think the ending really raised it up for me because for the most part this was like a three-star read but I don't know if it was a three-star read because I was just kind of disturbed at points or if it was just like eh. 
you know, so I didn't want to give it like a 3.5 star because the ending was really good and I did like the message in the end. The next book that I finished this week was Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I really enjoyed this. This is another four star book. Okay, see, that's the thing. Like when I look at this one as a four star and I look at this one as a four star, there's a big difference. That's really frustrating because this one was also definitely a four star for me. Like it was really good, but it wasn't anything that blew my socks off. I think that a big reason why it wasn't more of a five star or maybe a 4.5 star was because of the romance. I just felt like it was very random. Even though I did enjoy it and I liked it towards the end, it just felt very sudden. Like there wasn't really any build up to it. Even though in their lives there was, we just didn't get to see it. So it felt very rushed and surprising. So it just didn't make a lot of sense. Like they went from being just kind of like competitors to suddenly I'm in love with you. But it just felt very random. Like it didn't really need to be there, if that makes any sense. I think that it would have been better as just like a really cool like friendship story. I don't know. I've made tons and tons and tons of progress on Morningstar by Pierce Brown. I'm really enjoying this book. I really want to go back and just annotate it all thoroughly. I just love, I love the world that Pierce Brown makes for us. I love his characters. He just does such a good job of describing like society and the way that people act. And I don't know, it's like he does a really good job and I enjoy reading his perspective and everything. And I love Mustang. Mustang is probably my favorite character. I I will probably be finishing this later in the week. I just don't want to rush it because this is technically my last audiobook for the biannual bibliothon because the other books that I have I think I wanted to read physically such as Aurora Rising and oh and Monstrous. Yeah so that is really like the last audiobook that I have for this so I'm not really gonna rush the process. If anything I'm actually gonna drag it out. Overall though this week was really good for me. I feel like it was very productive but like not in a overwhelming way. I felt very stress-free. I didn't really get anxiety this week, which is cool because I feel like I've been very anxious for a really long time. Yeah, I, I like this week. It was really startling to me yesterday when I was talking to my mom and she's like, it's been a week since my dog died and I feel just I mean, it still makes me sad, especially if I go back and watch the montage that I did in my last reading vlog, I like cry every single time. It's just so, I don't know, it hits me, you know? It's like, I feel I feel weirdly like better like I said last week having that moment of just grief and everything it felt like a reset for me like I feel like I've been so just overwhelmed with everything and just overthinking everything and then to have like that moment of like oh wait this is actually what like being sad and having something bad happen feels like was like oh okay so the rest of everything is pretty okay like that was what my mind did after that so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching I will see you in next week's reading vlog. Goodbye!